All right, guys, parts of the way through this uh, LP. Sorry, it's been a few days since I've recorded more of this. We got now added filter to splitter, added input and output priorities splitter, uh, some crap you don't care about, uh, some additional, well, actually, this one's not bad. Radar, uh, substation, and chemical plant. Uh, it's not possible to walk through it. I'm not going to read the bug fixes because uh, we, don't, we don't deal with bugs. Uh, well, whatever. And then they released another patch, 18. So I usually wait like a day after they release a major update and then they obviously fix a bunch of bugs uh, as well so so we're now on uh version 16 18 uh as of right now so i'm just letting you know that and hi guys welcome back to factorio i'm your host uh can't um so there's a couple things i want to go over oh, also the solar energy is almost done so i've been thinking um so you know how i had the ammunition turrets i need to actually get some because i want to show you guys an example so i was thinking to myself uh, how to make the, um, how to make things better for the ammunition. Because you know how I was feeding it all throughout the game before, and it's not efficient. I, I know it's not efficient. Um, I'm going to show you actually what I would actually do as the new strategy for this. So how many turrets did I just pick up? Eight. All right. This is what I would do for now on. Uh, I can't obviously change anymore because we don't have turrets there anymore, but I want to show you. Um, so... I would use burner inserters, but I'm going to just use regular inserters just because, uh, fuck you. And so let me just bring these over. So basically kind of like a layout like this. So it'd have like walls. Let's say I was making a, a wall right here. So let me go put some turrets down. So I would space it out like this, something like that. Right. And then I would put a chest down. And I, I thought of this like just the other day, cause someone was saying, why don't you have a belt system to feed them? I'm like, well, I don't want to make an entire belt system around the base. It's a waste of time, but I'm just going to go laser. But what you can do is this, because the thing is, I, n I never want to put more than like 50 rounds inside the turret. Cause if the turret dies, you lose the 50 rounds and put uh, like, it's like four times 50 or something. If it loses the ammunition, like it's four, sorry, four iron plates times 50 rounds. That's how much iron you're basically like throwing in the fucking trash whenever a turret dies like that, right? So, uh, this is what I'd do instead. So I'd use like burner inserters for this instead. Uh, burner inserters you did, didn't see me use, but they use fuel instead of uh, uh, regular inserters. So you just put like a little bit of coal in them, and that's it. I, I don't want to make it for the for the example here. And then you just put like let's say let's say a hundred rounds for this entire thing. And look at this. And I, I, I knew this was, it was capable of doing this, but it would basically mean that if, um, so apparently it keeps at most 10 rounds inside every turret, which is still not ideal, but you get the idea. Like it's still like, it's le it's better than losing like 25 every time something dies. And now solar power is done. So now we need uh, personal solar panels. But I just wanted to show you that's, that was actually kind of the, in, um, that's kind of like, that how I would change things, given the fact of uh, knowing what I know now. Um, that's what I would do. So, anyways, uh, we need to get started with solar power, like, right now. And it, I know it's weird, and you're like, oh, fuck, why are you making solar power, Mike? I thought you were uh, against solar power, not a hippie. Uh, I'm unsubscribed from your channel, and to you I say, I'm sorry. These things happen. Um, but, in actuality... This is just a temporary thing. Everything is temporary, but yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to do something spaghetti-like, actually, because fuck you, that's why. Uh, do I have... Where's my... Did I run out of assembly machines? I thought I had, like, a stack of, like, 50 of them. Sorry, it's been, like, a day since I've been here. Or not a day, it's been, like, a week. Alright, fine. What if I just take, put it up? Oh, wait. There it is. It's over there now. Whatever. I'll just make a thing for it right there. All right. So we're going to go right here. Oh, God. Those are some big ass fucking things. Shit balls. All right. Those are some big, big, big spitters. All right. So we need solar panels. We need them yesterday. How much does it need of everything? A lot of, of that. Okay. Uh, so, we have one right here. Alright. I, by the way, yeah, you're looking at this and you're like, oh shit, that's ugly as fuck, Mark. It is ugly as fuck, but it's ugly as fuck 
with a good reason, because this is not staying up here forever. We're mainly just gonna, we're just, we just need a bit of solar panels to just to get us going. Because uh, it needs like a bunch, for some reason, I, I don't know why, but solar panels are fucking huge. But to make a portable f solar panel to fit into your armor, you need five solar panels, a bunch of steel plates, advanced circuit, but like five, st f what? Why developers, why, why do you do this to me? This is dumb. Also, I hate this curve that's in there now, but we're not going to do anything about it. And we're running out of iron slowly. Also, someone yelled at me for something a little while back. Uh, so we're going to go repair this now. Uh, so apparently, one of the oil thingamabobs that I did here... Holy shit. This place has seen better days. So we have big-ass uh, spitters now. Yeah. I mean, that would be the only problem with this, is the amount of... The evolution factor is extremely high. Anyways, um... So apparently two of the oil pumps aren't going here. Yeah, this one isn't. These two aren't going. So apparently it triggered somebody, and I apologize. Uh, this is supposed to be a trigger-free zone, but these pumps were not hooked up to the main system. And I don't think this is hooked up to the main system either. I oh, know it is hooked up to the main system. Yeah, I like how they all stop. Yeah. yeah that's right. Anyways, uh, so I didn't hook those two up. My bad. My bad. Sometimes, sometimes you make mistakes. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so. You can see actually the spikes in the power usage here. We're still good for now. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that. But like, look at, look at, look at what's happening to these furnaces. They're not going at 100% anymore. But, I mean, it's just, there's not much I can do. I have to get them done. I have to get them done another way. Um, I was also thinking of getting rails going. And that's something I have to consider to myself. Um, rails kind of need iron spikes and some other, some other shit like that. Can I actually get that going? Like, right here? No, I kind of can't. Ugh. 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 I can I can do it actually. Um, it's gonna suck ass. No, actually I can't do it. No, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I can't I can't do it. All right, let's do that. Cause I uh I apparently uh, yeah did some stuff here. Um, I was gonna get some rails being made. I I still can do it actually, but um, it sucks though. Cause I actually didn't want to. I'm actually really lazy. I'm 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 not gonna fucking lie to you. I'm 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 just incredibly lazy in how I'm gonna do this. So, this is gonna be the fucking worst thing you've ever seen, and you should completely judge me right now for what I'm about to do. So, fuck you guys. So here we go. So we have a bit of an issue here. Oh, well, not really an issue. So we need to start making straight rail tracks. Need steel. Some. This is why I have it next to this because I I don't want to make another machine for it because I'm lazy. Uh, we do this, and we have it go out. Uh, we need a bit more iron here. So, this unfortunately requires a great deal of, um, well, everything, but yeah. So, <clears throat> let's go take it from one box. I'm going to actually, actually, how many rails does this make? Two. Alright, we're going to make two of these fast splitters. I, I'm... I'm gonna be sad for what I'm what I'm gonna do here, but that's fine. All right, so <clears throat> we did this, right? Uh, and then we need to get some stone. So we oh, okay, we have some stone here. Um, that's fine. Uh, we also need to get some steel, so we just get some steel from up here. And this is just for the future, because we're gonna need some rails like pretty fast, actually. Uh, well, not that fast, but yeah. So I, I just had some stone on me randomly, and this is now going to make rails, which we're going to need eventually. That's just going to be the place I make it from, because I'm a lazy something. Alright, how many are we up to? 38. Ah, 38 solar panels. Not too shabby. Is that a fucking mother? Yeah, we were going to have to deal with that eventually. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, that, that thing died. Just looking at all my little... Oh my, what? Alright, that wall, man. That wall needs to come up. Alright, um, you know what we're going to say? Okay, because of the fact we're going to be doing so many little adventures right now, uh, we actually need another additional line of um, furnaces. And uh, you've seen me do it. Sorry, I was counting in my head. You've seen me do it many times already, so I'm not going to show it to you again. Because uh, I'm a nice guy. And... You don't want to be. You don't want to see me doing fucking furnace lines until the end of time, but this is kind of what's necessary right now. So we'll be back. All right, I brought over some water. I'm just gonna place the rest of these down. It's just one line, like that's it. And you know, I I know you think I'm crazy, but I'm actually uh, perfectly sane. Uh, maybe. So. You hold your horses there. So this one has a slightly larger range, so we're gonna actually finish it up with one of those. Plug into the rest of the coal line, and then we're good. All right, so we now have uh, portable solar panels. Um, so some things we can do, we don't need worker speed, we do need personal roboport now. So we're gonna get going on that. It's gonna require batteries, steel plates, advanced circuits, some other garbage, so. Uh, this is one of the first things we're gonna get that actually requires blue science, and this is gonna be the the winner. This is what's gonna like really kick it into high gear for us. Um, it's the reason why we made half of a blue science thing. So we basically give it a bit of a rest every time we make it. So whenever we want to make personal solar panels, so this is to kind of show you. I'm not gonna place them because they're f they're filthy and they're disgusting, but they look kind of like this. Uh, well, actually, you saw it in the intro video. What am I talking about? Uh, but what we what we will do is we will make personal uh, solar panels. It's a do I have modular armor? I do have modular armor on right now. So where is the personal... Oh, there they are, right here. So, that, I don't know why it requires so much garbage, but it just does. We're gonna take a bunch of red chips. We're gonna take a bunch of steel plates. We're then gonna go and make everything here. Uh, what? Maybe, maybe don't, don't make that. So I think this might be enough. Oh, how much is 11? I don't even know. Uh, okay, so maybe not quite enough. We still need more. But yeah, it's, it's, okay, let me just say it's a good start. Alright, it's a good, very good start. Um, and this is the way that we have to power things in this game. Kind of like, oh my fucking god. When did this spawn? Alright. So, that's that. We take the, we take 49 laser turrets, because we're going to need these. And this is, this is when now we kick, uh, some biter ass. As soon as this personal world port comes out, sort of. What do we need for construction bots? Alright, we need a bunch of green chips, so we're gonna take that. This is this is a time when we're we're done. We're done with biters, guys. For now on, alright. This is this is a no biter zone, alright. We they will have to accept the fact that we're different and human and uh, they're gonna they're not gonna like it, but you know, that's kinda how this is gonna work. So, we come over here. Now, remember, I don't know, like an episode ago, I made a bunch of flying frames. I made 47 of them, which I shouldn't have done. But that's what I did. Um, so we're going to take 24 of them. We're going to make them all into construction bots uh, as soon as it's done. Uh, and then we're going to gather resources for personal robot. And this is how this is how you win Factorio, guys. So this is, this is a personal solar panel, so we're going to just put some of these in here. So, now we have um, solar panels in our armor. Uh, we're not powering anything, but that's going to come very soon, so relax. Uh, how many more? Okay, I have, I have abundance of chips here. So... Yep. We're just waiting for that thing to finish, but we're, we're still, we're getting everything to kind of... So we got like four more... As you can see, I'm making all the construction bots. There is no such thing as too much uh, or too little construction bots. We on it. We on, we quite honestly we need them all. And you you guys are fucking assholes. So like we're done with biters. Like at this point. Like at this point, they're becoming extremely difficult to deal with. Uh, what is the green science is the limiting factor because we're not getting enough gears coming down the line. 
So this is the moment where we fight back. Um, and I, I'm going to have to prepare for it in just a second. I'm going to just hook up these uh, things again because it looks like gears are a bit of an issue. So I feel like just uh, taking some of these gears and plugging it directly into some of these machines, which is the machine that needs it, this one is. There you go. All right, actually we're gonna need some gears for us. All right, so now we get into the wonderful wacky world of blueprints, guys. And there's only one blueprint that we need. It is the fucking combat blueprint, all right? So um, in order to win a death world, you do this, all right? You see me do this, I think, once before, but you kind of do this kind of layout right here. This is our this is our combato uh, blueprint. -o. I want to get rid of this thing somewhere. Yeah, just put it over there somewhere. All right, this is this is called the combat bl blueprint. We make a new blueprint with this, and it now makes a blueprint for it, for this. This is a concept we haven't yet seen. Well, you kind of see it. So now I have this. Now I ha now I can place. A ghost version of this exact blueprint anytime I want. Now you've been noticed I've also been ghosting things as well. Um, so by the way, that blueprint menu you can import things, you can make a book out of it, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. It doesn't even matter. Anyways, so let's get some batteries. Because like I said, we're fucking done. All right, we got personal roll port now. Uh, I don't know what to get next. I, I think the next the best thing would be like uh, laser, sorry not lasers, uh, robot working speed. Yeah, we need to get that, because that's that helps the bots along. Or batteries. Batteries work too. Anyways, um, so we put in even more or, uh, more of these little pieces here. Like I am not fucking around when it comes to bots anymore. Alright, guys. We're not we're not we we want them out of our home. And so we're gonna make this. Uh, and that's how we deal with it. So I have a shit ton of bots, and I, I also have to make sure I have an abundance of repair packs, but I can't have them on me. Where's the car? All right, so we get the car, because if I have the repair packs on me, then the bots are stupid and like to commit suicide, so... Uh, so we don't allow that. All right, so now watch what happens. So I have... Uh, okay, wait, I have to put the RoboPort on. So that's the RoboPort. It's uh, going to charge up. Uh, which is nice. Uh, so when it's done charging, it's not done charging yet. But basically, what you get to do is you get to do this. You get to put this out. Oh, hey, turrets! What about that? But they're slow as fuck, but, like, turrets, huh? So, the best weapon we actually have right now is bots. Uh, and you just use a blueprint to kill the bases. Um, unfortunately, did a bot come out? Okay. Bots really like to leave your car when you run into shit because they're like, oh, you you dinged your car a little bit. Let me handle that. Um, so, this is also why we just kicked up our production right here because uh, we're about to go full fucking Starship Troopers on these things' asses. So, we're gonna actually put the bots here. So, that you see how they repair stuff when I have repair packs? And they're also incredibly slow when to do this. So we actually don't want them to do this that often because it's like, it's literally trash. So we put that away. So, <clears throat> as you can see, they're conjugating here. Uh, let's go save somewhere. So they're coming, the locals are, are coming here. They're obviously very disappointed in us. Um, and I'm disappointed in them, honestly, because you know what? I thought I thought we had a non-aggression non pact going on here. Um, but apparently combat. So... Unfortunately, everything is just so insane in this game with regards to um, combat speed and things like that. So, hey guys, you want to come over here for a sec? Yeah, just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make friends. So, as you can see, our, um, our lasers are quite adept at handling this. Um, and so what we do now is we just put another pair of bots up here. But sometimes the bots will die. That's why we made an abundance of them. So what we'll do is, anytime one is close to dying, we'll just uh, recycle it or something, like that one. And let's put another thing here. So this, is, this is how you do combat in Factorio, by the way. And another biter nest, gone. And what we can also do is we can do a deconstruction planner to just remove everything here. 
Uh, so what got destroyed? So one thing, one bot was destroyed in that. Uh, rest in pieces, fucking Joey the bot or whatever the fuck we want to call him. And uh, that this is how we clean up butter. I actually made two of these. So let's just, uh, can I actually delete it? Yeah, that works. So we, it's also a good idea to put the deconstruction planner somewhere here. So with our fish, you know. Uh, we'll just put this these things here because I, I don't think we're doing... So the bots, the bots work out really nicely. Um, let's see, what is the limiting factor now for science? It's back to blue science being the problem. Uh, but if, that's the thing, is like, if we get, they have everything they need except for um, something, I don't know what the fuck they need. But anyways, uh, we don't really want to have repair packs on us anymore because repair packs suck. And this is actually how we're going to clear out nests uh, throughout most of the game. Um, it is actually the most effective way of doing it because, as you can saw, it was literally no, like not very much pain to me. Uh, the, I, I mean, sure, the boss took a bit of damage, but you know, like, like, it's fucking, there's just bots. Like, who cares? Um, I mean, I, whatever. I guess bots care, but you know, whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give uh, this thing as much uh, iron as it needs to because it's uh, such a problem here. So yeah, some of the bots are a little bit wounded, but that's okay. Um, that's not much we can do about that. So we're gonna deal with all the local nests like that. Uh, we're gonna basically just send a bunch of large power poles and thank goodness we've been making them up here somewhere. And we go in there, we clear them out, and then we start building a wall. And this is, this is the, that is the, that is the power of like bots in this game. I mean, there, there's a lot of other good things that bots do, but that is, that is the number one thing that they're really good at. Uh, which is just automating simple things like that. But the key the key here is to make, uh, to get rid of the, the local nests, because the local nests are causing the biggest issue. Because they're the ones that are attacking all the time. Um, and this is, and it you can see it, it dealt with the worms and everything. Um, past that, I'm not sure. I, I can't tell you how to deal with it past that, because I've uh, only made it so far in this scenario, but you know. What we do is we kind of go here, we then go and break out the bots. So we just make sure we just put them up here first, and it looks like uh, they don't like me. See, they, they are a bit wounded, but that's okay, because uh, how much we can do about that. Uh, as I said, they will take some damage. But the bots have like lots of HP. Sorry, not the bots. The the turrets have tons of HP. Oh shit. Oh whatever. As I said, as long as I retire the ones that are bad. Like if I, I could not even begin to tell you about like yeah, so two bots got destroyed. This is why when you get war worker speed, that's like a, that's like the best thing you can get for the bots to help them live. Uh, we need to actually get out our, uh, like, the, 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 the worker speed is what the bots need. They need to get out fast, they need to deploy their, their, whatever the fuck they have, ASAP, every time. Alright, so let's, uh, break out the celebratory repair packs. We're just gonna place the bots here, because they'll get repaired too. Now the now the uh, my thing has an internal electricity buffer, but we kind of need a little bit more uh, of everything, so that you can see that they kind of leave with the, the whatever. But I can go here and tell them to repair the stuff. I know they look incredibly painfully slow right now, but like as I said, the the bonuses for their speed is like cumulative and really good. So this is just like the shit version of of the bots. You're seeing version 1.0 of bots. But they're so good. They they're such a game changer. Like you can even deforest things. That's how that's how great these things are. Like this is this is the reason why. And and uh, people make factories with these kinds of well, not these specific kinds of bots, but you, you know you get the idea. So we always put the repair packs back in the car because we don't like them just stopping anywhere and just like doing things because they're bad when they do that. All right, there's obviously some issues here. So we'll we'll let them have a bit of a moment sometimes. Like this. 
Yeah, because like occasionally things are under attack and whatever. What is the problem here? Is there a problem here? I don't know, there isn't a problem here. I mean, petroleum's still kind of coming along, but that will also be something that we have to research. What, where, what happened to the coal? Oh, I guess I picked it up. Oops. Alright, so once again, actually I'll just take it with me. Uh, what was I going to look at? Yeah, what we're also going to look at is uh, we're going to need advanced oil processing. That also requires like 300 packs. Luckily, I'll, as I said, all we have to do is we have to research something else, let the, let the blue packs kind of go up again, and then we're good. Like, we don't have to really care. So we're going to now deal with this base, because this has been a problem for a while. Um... Yeah, fuck you. Alright. They're coming. We don't want to actually take that much damage because, uh... This modular armor is not something we want to replace very often. Yeah, yeah fuck you guys. Oh shit. You see, you see what they do when they when they repair? And they're gonna actually take hits. Do you see that? This That is the flaw with the bots. With the way they work. And that's why we don't let them have uh, repair packs. Get out of here! Maximum warp! Alright, alright, go. Alright, alright. All right, let's put the car a little bit in the back. A little bit too enthusiastic. All right, so we're gonna go take these things. So we this is like we obviously have to bring the power here. So everything's very interconnected here. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so it is okay for us to take a little bit of hits, but this is the kind of the way we deal with. I'm gonna actually give it a good old save. Because this has been going very well so far. So we're going to go right here. And let the bots drop off their shit. We're going to go up again. Repeat the same process. I don't want to waste my fish. Because I, I really don't know if I get any more fish. And that's it. We've uh, dealt with that base. Uh, much easier than what I was doing before, would you guys not agree? Much, much easier. Much so fucking easy, guys. You ever seen a game this easy? We're gonna we're gonna do like a little perimeter scout again, but I think for the most part that's actually the, the most problematic bases that we've had to deal with. Uh, and that, that that's why you see like everything has like has a little bit of chip damage here, you know? Because of Bullshit like this. Yeah, here, come come on over, guys. If I right-click them, they go into my inventory faster, which is good. Uh, but yeah. So, it's like I predicted. The, the blue science is very, very uh, iron limited. Um, and iron is just, it's, we, we don't have any right now. And the way we have to get it, we have to trade it in from one of these iron ore patches, or... Or actually, that's that's literally it. We have to train it in. There's, there's no other way. Um, thing is, I want to build half of the wall. Half of the wall is what I want to make. And, and you're going to ask, why half? Uh, because, I don't know, that's just a number I came up with. Actually, that's still fine. So, coal is coal is good. So, we, we are concerned about coal, but as long as it seems to be flowing smoothly, it's fine. Because remember, remember nothing is wasteful in this game. Therefore, um, we don't have to worry too much. But we're going to make half the wall, because if we make half, the, we're going to make basically the lower half of the wall. Um, basically around this base, like down here somewhere, it's going to become a wall. The reason we're going to do that is because we can start having the trains, we can make the train yard here, and then we don't have to worry about the biters attacking it. That's, that's actually what we're, that's our primary concern right now. Uh, we don't want the biters to uh, annoy us anymore with that kind of stuff, so. Um, but yeah, we're working on worker robot speed right now. Um, and then, yeah. And then I'll decide. So it's a question of, okay, so we want the stone in our patch here. This copper or stuff doesn't have to be in there, it doesn't matter to me. But we do need uh, walls. We need a couple things, actually. We need... We need to bring all the materials that we can possibly bring with us, so we just brought like a couple thousand walls or some bullshit. I don't think I should be utilizing any more of this, honestly. Let's, let's just start taking it in, in from here. 
I, I honestly think this is probably enough walls now. You can see, like, every time, like, I walk around something, the bots start, start going like, Oh, you want me to repair that, don't you? So we go, take it into the car. Uh, I'm just gonna let them repair that. Uh, and then we're gonna take, like, three stacks with us. Right. Uh, let's take a couple of green chips, because, uh... We need green chips, I think. Oh, let's make sure that the, uh... Let's make sure that the, uh, solar power, power thing isn't gonna be going forever. 27 more. Alright, how many more is that? Uh, I'll never know, because I need more steel plates. Oh, well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? Alright. We may not want any more than this. Yeah, this, there might be another base up there. I, I simply don't know. So we want to just basically fill up most of the slots. Oh wait, the worker speed is about to be done. So you, you've been noticing how like they're slow. Now look at that. Look at that. Instantly faster. There's another level, but requires 400 science. Um, and like it is an upgrade again, but you saw the problem we have with like we we can't do it that fast, guys. We have an issue there, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to do that. So, what we can do is maybe turret damage, laser turret damage. Laser turret damage would be a good upgrade. Uh, cement is also something we eventually need, but I think we should go for the damage upgrades now. Uh, something I've been kind of holding off on, but we can now do, because we're actually at the point now where we have trains, we have the wall building technology. Like I said, we could have manually done this. There's, there's nothing that's stopping us from manually building the wall. It just sucks. It, it it sucks building the wall manually, so we're, we opted not to do that. All right, we're gonna take some of that. We're gonna take some of this. Uh, we're gonna take some of that too, maybe. Maybe one more of these, which this is awful to do because we're already not in a good spot for uh, our tech, but yeah. All right. Take some more laser turrets, because we need them. How many flamethrower turrets do we have? We have 50. Uh, so we have, yeah, we have, okay, that's, that should be good enough. And I, honestly, we're gonna, we're gonna say, like, we don't need any more flamethrower turrets than that. That's fine. We can leave that. Okay, that's done. Um, and we're gonna start the wall. Uh, this is a plan we have to make right here. Gonna start at the edge of this coal patch. It's gonna encompass the stone there. We want to build it further away from our base because look at our pollution cloud, how it how it expands. If we basically make it so that they can't build directly into the pollution cloud, the dissipation of the of the pollution will be stronger and we'll be much better off. One object m m missing for construction. What? Where is that? Oh, there was a ghost here. Yeah, well, you have to I concern yourself with that sometimes. All right. So, still, once again, crude oil is still going to be our main source of... Um, it, it's the simplest thing we can use for flamethrowers, so we're not going to change that out. Oh, and I forgot that I, I don't want to have... Uh, Oh shit, I really don't want to have any more solar panels being made. Fuck. We're actually we're actually maxed on this stuff now. I I, I it, sorry, it did totally slip my mind cuz every more every additional solar panel panel that's being made right now is a total waste cuz I'm never going to use them. We're never using solar panels. And and you know what? Actually, it's I it's a good a good good time for me to explain actually why. We can just remove this entire thing. We're never using this again. When I said when I said you were triggered, I I also meant you wouldn't be triggered for very long. All right, so we don't have to concern ourselves with this anymore. All right, so um, I mean I have some solar panels with me I think somewhere. Do I have them with me? Yeah, I have three right here. Maximum hour, uh, power output is sixty kilowatts. Six zero. All right. Now you're probably like, oh whatever, fuck. Like okay, okay. So the steam engines we've been making up to now are a maximum power output of nine hundred kilowatts so I don't know uh, I don't know much math but like I think like 15 
solar panels per one steam engine. And each one requires five steel plates, 15 electronic circuits, five copper plates. Basically, it's it's a giant, um, it's a bit of a, st uh, a steel hog, but it's primarily a copper hog. Um, which is not, I mean, it's not a big deal for us right right now. I mean, we don't have to, we're not too concerned with that. But, you know, it's still, like, a problem. Like, we don't want to, we don't want to deal with that. Fuck that shit. Anyways. Uh, so, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, um, that's a concept we're going to get into a little bit later in time. So, I mean, I could just take this copper. I, I could just encompass the copper, maybe even get that crude oil patch. No, because it's... Dude, okay, listen. The, mo the, the problem with doing this is the more resources you put into this wall, that's the more turrets you need to use, the more everything. Anyways, so you're gonna wonder what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um, and you will learn what the fuck I'm doing right now in a second. Because I, what time is it? It's like 42 minutes, okay. Bit of a longer episode because I really wanna nail this concept out to you guys because I love this concept. So we're building a wall now. I know like you guys are like, oh, whatever fucking memes. Um, no, but like, here's the thing. So we wanna have a tileable wall. So we're gonna do something like this. So that's a good, so we're going to space it out as two and then we're going to have a flamethrower turret. So something like that. So we're going to make it kind of would like to have it go over these guys though. Seriously? Huh. Apparently these are uh, over an odd number or something, or maybe I fucked up something. I don't know. Whatever. So this is um, this is where the oil comes from. So we give it a bit of space. So if we actually look at the turret, uh, turret coverage on our map, which you can't really see, they basically, two of them cover one area, which is good. There's space in between. And the thing is, we can make more turrets around this. We can fill in the spaces, we can do a bunch of stuff. That's the point of this. Very good point. Um, I'm just trying to debate how to do this. So, I guess we're gonna do something like, really? Do something like that. As I said, we want this to be infinitely tileable, right? We do something like that. There's. There is the beginnings of the wall. So we're gonna do this. All right, so we do something like that. This leaves space on both sides. Uh, I mean, we can we can even we can even make it go more than that. One, two, uh, maybe not like that. All right, good enough. All right, so. It's good. This is good. This is what we want out of our wall. Oh, we can also make lights. I forgot about that. But we'll have like, uh, I don't know, like somewhere maybe in between or something or... No, no, actually we want it to be kind of beside the... Let's, let's have it beside the flamethrowers. That sounds cool as fuck. Because we want to leave space here potentially for more turrets. So I don't want to have... I don't want to ever have to put it, put up the, the those things again. All right. So we take that. That's our blueprint. I'll watch this. Um, all right, all right, something failed here. All right, all right, this, did, this didn't work, this didn't work. Why the fuck didn't this work? All right, so it wasn't spaced out properly. Wonder why that is. Oh, cause I, did I fuck something up? One second here. So this is version one of the wall. All right, let's do that. If I do this, what the fuck? Oh no, no what? Oh, this is like three tiles. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? All right, delete that one. Let's try it again. All right, you messed with me, man. 
So it like it should be tileable like that. So you see how it connects, right? And then we just start pasting it all throughout here. Look at that. And look, it even lights up for us too. And 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 it's like a self-replicating wall. Oh. Good time. I'm not being I'm not even being sarcastic. It's fucking sweet. So opposed to just like placing these these entities manually, we can just do this. And also, I'm kind of considering, given the amount of walls we have, I could just make, like, two other layers, but we could also place that after the fact, so, you know. It's something to know. I, I'd prefer to get it up with the minimal amount of resources as well. That's kind of how I work. We work on a very ba bare basic wall, and we're gonna, we're gonna wall it all the way around. Um, what time am I at? 47. All right. I'll show you what happens when we get to a corner. So we're going to make this one because I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to make this entire thing probably off screen for as much resources as I have. Okay, apparently I don't have iron gear wheels, but that's okay. So we keep the car with us because the car has a, a great number of our of resources. Oh, and we also forgot we need to plug in the crude oil because uh, that's important. Because they're going to start smashing their faces against this wall any minute now. So, uh... We can't stand for that. So, like, like I said, it's now paying off because all the shit we've been kind of like setting it to make in the, in in, the, in our spare time, like, it's now kind of like, kind of coming into fruition now. Like, it's now actually, uh, kind of spawning in. Ah, right, there we go. So now, now these are all gonna have crude oil in them. Where's my car? There it is. As you can see, there's lights. What the fuck's your problem? Oh my god. But don't worry, because as I said, like I said, the, 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 the end goal, the end goal is that there's the wall spaced out, they can't send a scouting party to make a, a base in, internal, uh, internally, so. And now, people have like, weird, complicated stuff like mazes and stuff that they do, I keep things simple. This is all I do, basically, I just kind of, you know, I just make a, a wall around there, just so they don't come into my pollution cloud anymore, and then, and then we work it out from there. It's worked for me before. It, by the way, it, it will self-repair itself later, but this is like, this is, this is, this is stage one, literally. Um, so we're gonna put that over here. So, I mean, and, I'm at, like, just, just, you know, you can imagine to yourself the tedium I just saved myself, right here. It's actually one of the cooler parts of the game. It's a very late game thing to do as well, but yeah. Um, we're also going to work on some modules for our, uh, for our armor, like night vision. I'll probably get the night vision and I'll probably get uh, batteries. Because batteries, unfortunately, it's working right now off of the internal uh, electricity buffer. But you can see them charging up occasionally. And that's just kind of how it works. So, this, it's as I said, massive, massive wall. So, and like I said, we have like basically a year's worth of supply of walls inside of our car. So we just keep the car with us. Uh, and then we're, we're good to go. Let's see here. Uh, did, uh, did I lose a radar station over here? I'm not sure. Oh, speaking of radar stations, we can make radar stations at the corners, but we'll, we'll do that in a second. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be, okay, by the way, this is gonna be like an hour episode, and I'm acknowledging that now. Uh, which obviously makes it better that I'm doing this. No, it really doesn't, but I, I just want to get to a corner. Now, the way you corner this is funky. Thing is, like, you gotta decide, okay, do I want to maybe have the corner here, or do I want to move it up here? That's the question, because, like, you see these three bases, there's obviously three bases. There, I'm gonna have to deal with them at some point when I get when I make it up there. Uh, so it's a matter of do I want to do do I want well obviously I want I'm gonna have to deal with them. So do we want to have maximize the space around our base, which is probably the better strategy, or do we want to save on resources? Because the as it is, I've, I'm building this and I have like as you can see like well I have a, a lot of flamethrower turrets, but I mean laser turrets are starting to run out because I, I use a I use a shit ton of those. And this is kind of why I said we were going to build half the wall. We're going to build, like, just the wall kind of going up here, then up there, and then we're probably going to stop. Um, 
But it's like, do we want to get this coal patch in there? And the answer is probably no, because we're not going to be running off of coal forever. And quite honestly, this is a very nice coal patch. It's going to serve it, service us very well. Um, and you're gonna, and and this is actually gonna, this is gonna be a great biter deterrent too. So we're gonna at least get that copper ore patch, I guess. Um, massive, massive wall of massive proportions. All right. I think I'm almost done with this. Let's get the. I'm just I'm just returning them over because that actually charges them up. When you just do that, I think it does. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't need I don't need someone telling me I'm wrong. All right, get, get inside the car. So I'm I'm just trying to like we want this uranium ore patch as well, and you can see like they're conjugating here as well. But luckily, like this wall already works. Um, more of a, and we, we actually have no reason to clear that out either. Uh, we, we don't have any problems with that. Uh, I think. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start going up. So, now to make a corner, uh, I'm not sure how to do that. One, two. So, okay. Yeah, we have an issue here. Um, so, you, do you guys notice how there's like a little bit of flicker? I'm not sure if you'll see it with the frame right, but... Uh, there's flickering going on now. That means we're actually losing power to the entire base for a millisecond. Um, so that's obviously not the best thing I've ever done, but yeah. Alright, let's get some batteries going. And the reason we're like, we're losing power to the entire base is, uh, uh, reasons. I'm gonna get one of these soon. These are really nice. I'm pretty sure I can sustain that, but we need batteries first. Or, uh, sorry, bat batteries for our armor. That's what we need. So it can store like 20 megajoules of power. So that's that's good. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think they're gonna send a big attack. All right. So the the, one, the last thing I did want to do for this attack, or sort of for whatever, um, we need to make a a, a little bit of like a defensive corner here. Now I'm not sure how to handle this, to be to be perfectly honest. Maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe that's just how I handle it, just like that. Fuck if I know, guys. Because you can do something like this. Actually, that's fucking perfect. What the fuck? I'm a I'm a bloody genius. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. So. The unfortunate part is that this doesn't actually have good coverage of right here, so we can do something like this. Look at that. This this is kind of how our corners are going to look, and you know what we can even do? We can even blueprint that shit. Aren't, aren't these lights, like, the best? This game is so fucking satisfying. I love it. Like, there's just something about this game. It's just so nice. Alright, so this is our corner uh, thing. And so what we can actually do, though, is because we're getting kind of fat on this stuff, we can make another blueprint book. Um, and what we do is you kind of just drag that into that. I don't actually... I probably should read the keys for this. Uh, what the fuck? How do I put blueprints into that, that shit? I actually literally do not know how. Uh, right mouse button to open... Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I got it now. So that's one. That's two. Blueprint book goes down here. And now watch this. I can swap between these with the mouse wheel to, just by holding shift. In that fucking... Dude, this game is the fucking best. I love that so much about this. It, it It's just such a convenience factor for this. And uh, we're going to have to... Make sure, actually, you know what? That needs to be like that. So, the one thing I had here that was, uh, and yeah, it needs to die. And now we just have that one. Uh, so let's redo this one real quick. Isn't, like, it's so fucking cool. It's just so fucking cool, guys. I love this so much, man. We put that in here. So now, a part of this blueprint book, we can just swap between these and hey, and look at that. Look at that. I mean, they're they're hitting it a little bit, but... 
it's just uh, the reality of how things go. So yeah, there's there's an abundance of flamethrowers here for the corners just to keep them covered because they sometimes like to attack the corners. Just because we have corners doesn't mean we can't leave them uh, undefended. I mean, we, there's a lot of ways of doing the cornering, but yeah. And yeah, I know that they're they're getting hit a little bit. Um, something we're we're just gonna have to deal with in uh, due time. Uh, we still have crude oil for these. How many laser turrets do I have left? I can't build much. Oh no no, I have a lot of laser turrets. What am I talking about? All right. And how many are in the box right now? Actually, we just finished batteries like instantly. Yeah, we don't have processing units though. So don't worry about the existence of processing units. Um, okay, so I think the last thing I'll leave you guys off on is while I'm looking at researches. Um, accumulators are an, an interesting concept. So one of the things you can do, so in this game, I'm just telling you this is a possibility and why we're not doing it. So I showed you solar pow power. I showed you why they're not good because it requires like 15 uh, solar panels to equal to one uh, steam engine. Of course, the solar panels don't make pollution, which means they won't attack me as often. But it's like, we don't have the investment for that. And also, as you notice, the pollution, the pollution dissipation on sand terrain is really, really bad. So we have to take that into account. Um, so I, I, in this scenario, as I said, you got to try it yourself. I, I, know it's, I know it's great to basically theory craft this stuff uh, from the comfort of, of watching, I guess, which is great. But it is really, truly a scenario you need to try yourself because it's very difficult. And every time I've tried to do something like solar related, it's just not possible because they're going to attack you no matter what because the pollution just spreads so damn far. Because you saw you saw in the beginning of the game like six of the um, six of the 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 burner drills or something, and it was almost reaching the pollution. So you you can't you can't do solar. It's just not really a possibility. Maybe it is. I don't know. You know what? Maybe if someone finds a way, like literally, if you play this scenario and you like post it on like Twitch or YouTube. I will fucking watch it. You just post it and I'll fucking watch it. it, it it's such a fun scenario to me. I love I love it so much. I will watch someone else do it. I don't care. Uh, like Even if you fail, I don't give a shit. It's so cool. Um, so that's that. Um, so so that's, that's why we don't do solar in this scenario. That's why we don't do it. Now, um, accumulators... Um, now, if you were to do a standard game and you're not doing the stupid shit that I'm doing, um, solar and accumulators is actually completely doable. And it, particularly if you decide to go ammunition, not laser turrets, because laser turrets, as you can see, I'm losing power on my base already. Uh, and I don't even have that many up. So, like, um, you, if you do, like, a, maybe a gun turret strategy and then you have accumulators, it actually might work better. It, it, it actually is totally feasible, and maybe a, one day I will t attempt that to do just gun turrets, solar, rush solar, and accumulators. It seems kind of cool, but basically the idea is, so you want your base to run at night. So the the thing about this game is there's no cloudy get, there's no cloudy days. The solar pa panels will always uh, work no matter what, like at the rate that they say. But and this is a but, uh, they don't work at night. Obviously, solar doesn't work at night. So what you need is you need accumulators. There's like some kind of ratio of them and stuff like that. You got to make the accumulators and all that kind of jazz. Uh, and so this is something you can research and you can rush. Um, obviously, this is something I decided not to do. And on top of that, what you can do on top of that is something we're going to get for a little bit later. This is not right now. Uh, electric furnaces. And electric furnaces have, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's no pollution, but they have much less pollution. Only problem is their energy consumption is 180 kilowatts. So that's like how many fucking? It's like five or six solar panels or something for each one of these. Um, now, mind you, these can be these can have modules in them, and modules is something we haven't introduced you to. But you can put something like this in, which uh, decreases the energy energy consumption of one of the machines. So you can like efficiency module uh, electric furnaces or something, and just to get them going. Uh, but this also requires you to have science three and uh, you, you see the iron requirements on that as it is basically you're stretching yourself really thin uh it's i'm not saying it's not a, in the realm of possibility it's just very difficult to do so um so that's that so that's kind of the way i do things and why i do the things the way i do um maybe we should get flamethrower damage yeah we'll get that so so the kind of research is i'm going to be going for now actually i'm going to do this one first i want night vision I decided I want to be a guy that sees things in the night. So that's the first thing. 
Uh, and then we could also make a battery now. We also need more steel plates. So what you're going to see for me next time is I'm going to build the wall as much up as I can. And I, actually, uh, one thing we're going to do since we're here, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to make one more uh, radar dish here because this will scan this way. So that's good to do. Uh, we kind of need that. So we're going to build as much up as we can. So you're going to see me finish a great part deal of the wall. I'm going to just basically, I think, just do damage upgrades for now. And then eventually, um, probably concrete is going to be my major one. Like I said, I don't want to do anything with blue science unless I absolutely have to. We're going to be doing advanced oil processing. Actually, let's see how far is the blue science backed up. Yeah, right to here. So we can't really do it right now. Um, there's no point in us doing anything else that requires blue science. The, the stuff that we got as it is was tough to do. And yeah. It looks like they found a little bit of a hole in our defenses. Oh, fuckers. So I'm going to build the wall as far as up as I can. Um, let's see what I can do for that. And then uh, and we'll be back. And I'll just do some simple researches. So nothing you guys really need to see for now. Uh, why am I even up here? I think I was going to put in the batteries to show you guys. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we can do that. Ta-da! We have batteries now. Look, you see I have a battery meter there? There you go. That's why I kind of said I don't need any more solar panels. Um, speaking of which, I think I'm just going to play a chest full of crap I don't want inside a chest somewhere here. So you can see all the iron is now completely running out, so... Uh, look forward to trains next episode, actually. We're going to have trains coming very soon. So, yeah, we don't need any of this crap. I'm even going to remove one of these. So we're done with that. So, oh, actually we can get night vision going right now. Where's night vision? Steel plates? Steel plates. Yeah, we, we got, we got issues with resources. Uh, how many more uh, laser torches do I have? I have like 20. All right, we don't want to make all of these, but we'll make some of them. All right. So next time, uh, actually, I, that's why I came back here. I want to make some uh, of these things. So next time we'll uh, do some more of that. Where, I thought I had a, a radar there. Apparently I don't have a radar there anymore. Go figure, huh? I'll put it like right here. It does its job now, I'll just bring a bunch of- Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm ending it now, fuck. Whatever, it's been like an hour. I've been, I'm having too much fun, I'm sorry. Alright, so next time, uh, video games, bye. Actually, wait. This thing. Fuck, that's so big, what the fuck? Okay, I actually didn't know that was so big. That just tells you how much I use those things. Uh, can I even support this energy consumption? It's actually not that high. What the fuck? wrong with me all right, all, right, all, right, all, right. all right let's just do next uh, next research dude I'm, I'm prolonging the shit out of this i know um flame thrower turret damage okay let's see i think this is i think this is actually it yeah, yeah it's almost it so we can actually see we have much better vision right now opposed to what we usually have So it's not it's not perfect, but it's not, at least it doesn't have like a green tint or something annoying. Oh my god. Our coal is a piece of shit. Uh oh. 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 That's not good to happen. Also, it's like a black tint. What the fuck? All right, that this was this was almost a disaster. Could very well still be a disaster though. Oh, how did they get over there? How did they find the one fucking area? Where's my uh Yeah, okay. I won't lie. Uh night vision kind of sucks ass, <laughs> but you know what? We're we're keeping it in there. We're keep I I've I've committed to the night vision meme. 
Which is, you know what, honestly, I, I can only say this is probably better than not having it. Uh, but, I mean, it's kind of nice because, I mean, the lights still do something. Like, if I go over here and... Actually, this doesn't matter. Um, fuck. Let's, let's get our repair packs. There you go, go repair that shit. Yeah, so... We're, we're committed to the night vision meme now, I guess. It's actually, it, you know, it's not that bad. I, I haven't used it yet, so whatever. All right, guys, I'm, I'm actually going to peace out now, so bye. Yeah. Adios.